Yes, the Abbott and Costello program brought to you by Camel, the cigarette that's first in the service according to actual sales records. See if your throat and your taste don't make Camel a first with you, too. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Listen to the great rhythms of Freddie Rich and his orchestra, the swingy singing of Connie Haynes. And that great statesman from the Dumbarton Oaks Conference who said, Costello, Costello, come here a minute. Come here, will you please? What's all the excitement about? Uh, what are you so happy about? Oh, look at it. What? I just got a letter from my cousin, Corporal Hugo Costello. Yeah? He's away over in Africa, and he says all the soldiers in his company are going to have a white Christmas. Why, you dummy, it's very hot in Africa. How, how could the soldiers have a white Christmas? Their cook is going to bleach the beans. The, uh... <laughs> Costello, it's about time you were thinking of Christmas. Do you realize there are only eight shopping days left? You know, I just bought... I just bought a hundred Christmas seals. A hundred Christmas seals? Sure. For goodness sakes, how are you going to feed them? I, 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 no, look. <laughs> look, Costello, are you going to make much out of Christmas this year? Am I what? Are you going to make much out of Christmas this year? I can't tell until I sell the presents I get. I... <laughs> Sell your presents? Oh, sure, Rabbit, sure. What are you talking about? I even sold that electric bed warmer you gave me last year. That was no good. A- electric bed warmer? That was an electric toaster. An electric toaster? Certainly. No wonder it kept turning me over and throwing me out of bed. <laughs> well, well, Costello, I hope you're getting a present from my wife, Betty, this year. You know, <laughs> and I'll give you a little tip. Go ahead. Uh, what she really needs is a new girdle. A what? Uh, uh, a girdle. Don't you know what a girdle is? Oh, sure. A girdle, it's, it's, it's one of those... Well, um, what is it? You've got to have it when you... Yes, um, yes. What if is you it? don't, you, you sort of got yes, to... Yes, um, that I know. Come on. You've got to... Uh, well, what is it? It's one of those things that keeps an unhappy situation from spreading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, what about your own family, Costello? What are you going to give your kid brother, Sebastian? Oh, him? Nothing. What do you mean? I gave him something last year. He didn't like it. Then what did you give him? The measles. <laughs> And did he use a rash word? Oh, talk sense, please. Listen, this year, Abbott, you know what I'm going to do? No, I don't know. I'm going to spend all my money on that beautiful girl who lives next door to me. Ruby Pool Q. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ruby Pool Q? She's beautiful. Why, she isn't beautiful. She is. She's got the worst complexion I ever saw. Well, she can't help that, Abbott. I mean, she got her face caught in a waffle iron. Now she has to pour her makeup on with a syrup pitcher. <laughs> Look, uh, what are you going to buy for Ruby? I'm going to buy her a piano. Uh, a piano? What kind of a piano? Maple, walnut, or cherry? Well, I'm going to get her one of those kind... What kind? What did you say? I said maple, walnut, or cherry. Maple, what? Do you realize what you just said? Uh, well, what's wrong? Shame on no, wait a wait a minute. Shame on Paul Abbott! Well, wait a what minute. What you said? Now, take it easy, take it easy. In front of Ken Niles, <laughs> our announcer. No. Shame on Paul Abbott! Well, wait a minute, Lou. Oh, oh. All right, all I said was maple, walnut, or cherry. Here you go again. I'm glad I found you out, Abbott. What do you mean? Now, what do you mean? You're a spy from the Jell-O program. Uh, now, please, please. A maple, a walnut, or cherry. Now, look, 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 wait a minute, look. I, I simply asked you the kind of wood. Oh, wood? Yes. What I know about, about the wood. What, do you think I am, a woodpecker? No, certainly you not. You think I go around tasting pianos? Did I ask you that? You think every time I see a piano, I bite it to see what flavor it is? Look, Costello, they, they make pianos out of different kinds of wood. My mother-in-law's piano is maple, so she has a genuine bird's eye. I know that. And she's got an eagle beak to go with it. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, never mind my mother-in-law. Now, you've got a lot of nerve spending your money on Ruby, a girl you hardly know. You never thought to ask me if I needed money for my Christmas shopping. Do you need money, Abbott? Oh, well, now, <laughs> no. Now that you brought it up... Uh, now that I brought it up! Uh, well, yes, you, you... Didn't you just ask me if I needed money? Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen what loose talk can do when it reaches the enemy's ears. Uh, uh, now, wait a minute. A slip of the lip can sink a ship. Now, wait... And I have just been scuttled myself. Now, look, look, look. <laughs> look, Costello, all I need is $50. $50? Uh, yes. Now, look, if you lend me $50, uh, what security would you want? A padlock, a pair of handcuffs, and a watchdog. No, no. And put your mama in a dungeon for security. Now, look, look. With your father. Well, now, listen. The only security I can give you is the word of an honest man. Okay, bring him around. I'll see what I can do for you. Now, look, Costello. You and I are pals. And to show you how much I like you, I'm going to let you lend me the $50. But, Abbott, all I got in my Christmas piggy bank is $40. Well, all right. Give me the $40 and you can owe me the $10. Okay, here's the $40. Okay. Now I owe you $10. That's right. 
Who owns who, Ken? Now, now, wait a minute. Just a minute. Wait. How much did I ask you for? You asked me for $50. And how much did you give me? I gave you all I had, $40. So you owe me $10. Well, that's right. Well, why are you? Who's kicking? I mean, all right. after all. All right, let it go with that. All right. You owe me $40. Costello, I don't like the way you're hedging on me. And I don't like the way you're clipping my head. Ah, oh, come on, please. Take it easy. Give me back my $40. Oh, okay, okay, if that's the way you feel. I don't want to do business with a man like you. Here's your $40. Well, right. that's more like it. Uh, now, give me the 10 you owe me. Okay, here's the 10. All right. I'm paying you on account. On account? On account. I don't know how come I owe it to you. <laughs> Believe me, this is the last time I'll ever ask you for the loan, loan of $50, Costello. Abbott, look. No, please. never mind. How can I lend you $50 now? Uh, I only had $40 to start with. Well, now I only got $30. Uh, well, okay, if it'll make you happy, I'll do you a favor. Give me the $30 and you can owe me 20 This is getting worse all the time. Now, wait a minute. Now, what's the matter? First I owed you 10 now I owe you 20 What kind of racket is that? <laughs> well, why do you let yourself run into debt? I didn't run into it. You pushed me. <laughs> Abbott, did you ever hear the story of the 40 Thieves? Well, yes. What became of the other 39? Uh, I still I do the guy that says, open... Says to me. Now listen, I, I'm surprised. I had lived that. It's not Costello, good. Costello, I'm surprised. In. Please. Why I'm I, I'm just like Santa Claus. You're better than Santa Claus. You bet I am. You can give me a sleigh ride without any reindeer. Oh please. <laughs> 